Hey, it's Jerry with Apocalypse, and it's it Friday. That's right. While the rest of the world is preparing for their weekend, we here at Apocalypse Manufacturing are turning wrenches and doing some big time projects Friday and Saturday. So let's check with the techs on which coolest builds they're doing right now. We're here at our 50,000 square foot beast of a facility, and look at this. There's one of our main techs right now that works exclusively on Apocalypse. It's James Hart, ladies and gentlemen. What's hey, up, what's James? What's going on, guys? How you doing? So, James, what project are you working on this Friday? I'm going to start the frame. I'm about to be done with this front lift kit, and then I'll start doing the frame extension. Front lift kit on a six-wheel drive what? A Hellfire or a Sinister Six? It's going to be a gloss red Hellfire, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. That gloss red Hellfire. My favorite. It's, your, in the, it's in the video. That's right. Your favorite. This is, yeah. I think, going to be build number three of that. What's the sure hardest is. part about um, doing a lift kit on one of these things? Getting the, <laughs> getting the axle over so the track bar, you know, at the right length. But that's it. Nothing, nothing's hard about it. Just time. Nothing's too hard for James, that's for sure. Oh, we just stumbled upon a project that got me real excited. Okay, so you've seen us take a stock TRX and transform it into two six-wheel drive behemoths like the Warlord and the Juggernaut, even a 4x4, four four, the super truck that looks amazing. This one is more for purists. We take a TRX and we transform it with a bigger lift, 40-inch tires, 22-inch rims, an awesome roll cage, little color matchy-matchy stuff. So it looks sort of like a TRX, but the baddest one on the entire planet. Oh my God, look who it is, everybody. It's the owner. It's the owner of Apocalypse, Joe Gaddis. Hey, how are you? Joe, this is the coolest project I think we have. We're working on today because it's unique. We've never done it before. This is the Super Rex. I'm actually really excited about this thing. We're going for like a super stock look, but there's a lot of modifications that you can't see in order to make it run the way it runs. So I'll, we'll walk you around the front. Yeah, so please. Here. So we started out with this bumper and we have to modify the hell out of it. The big magic behind this truck is that it's got 40 inch tires and 40 inch tires give this truck the big bulldog look, right? It's a 707 horsepower Hellcat that we juiced up to 800 horsepower with a, a smaller pulley, bigger injectors and a tune. Um, and then we have to modify the frame and the front cradle to be able to push those wheels forward a little bit, increase the wheelbase by about three inches. And then come around the side here. Notice we obviously modified and welded back the bumper to clear all this stuff. This whole fender is about an inch and a half wider than the factory fender. And then back here, it seals back down to zero and follows the frame modification that we did so that you got full steering, no steering limiters, lock to lock, all the clearance you need to run 40 inch tires. The magic behind this truck is that you want 40 inch tires, you want all the clearance, the suspension on these trucks to start out with is amazing, but you don't want to jack it up so high because it'll drive like crap on a highway. So you're actually only running a two inch lift, but you're clearing 40 inch tires on a TRX. And most people won't even understand. They'll see it and they'll be like, that looks like a stock TRX. Then they'll hit them with the 40 inch tires and be like, oh my God, that is something completely different. And the work that goes to literally give you the clearance that you need it looks so seamless, you would think it came from factory. That's the idea, that's the idea. When you put this next to any other TRX, you'll see the difference right away. Oh, that is mean. Power steps on in, because it's a lot taller now than it once was. Right, because you gotta get your kids in there, because they want to be with dad while he's going with the 800 horsepower engine. One inch wider rear fenders, gloss match to the vehicle. Oh. Armadillo roll cage with a rear facing light bar, and then four across the top, give it that retro look. The Marty McFly kind of thing going on. Oh, I love that. Of course, we shoot the bed line X, clean it up, and we're done. Well, where this is going, it doesn't need roads. It needs an off-road is really <laughs> what it is. Yeah. And my favorite part, war on the back. Because it's that simplistic. You're going to war every day. You're driving on a Florida highway. That's a pack. Just come back here and look at the width of this thing from back here. It's a monster. And that was the point of it. It looks, makes a Jeep look anorexic because it's so big. Oh, I can't wait to try this out. We can do some off-road donuts with this? We can fit that in today. As soon as wow. it's washed up, we'll take it outside and spin it. All right, let's have the employees move the cars this time. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold your excitement. We have Lamborghini Urus squared. That's right. Just like Mercedes does to the G-Wagon, we're doing it to an exclusive Lamborghini Urus. That's a wide body kit, a custom lift, custom rims, a roof rack, badass lights, and off-road capabilities. Let's go talk to the primary tech, Gus. Let me get by this workstation. This man has been working diligently to get this project off the off the ground. What do we got here, Gus? Hey, this is a 2022 Lamborghini Urus. We have five inch lift on that. Custom made spindles, um, skid plate on the front, like 
it's it's crazy. Now we uh, custom wheels also because nobody make those wheels. Right. So custom wheels forged, I believe. Right. Yeah. And now how hard, so this lift, right? So you're going to lift a Lamborghini yours for the primary purpose of what, clearance? So they can do some more off-road stuff? It's definitely going to do some um, off-road. It's definitely going to do it. How hard is it to do a lift? Because, I mean, this is a custom thing. You have to take apart the whole thing to basically do this lift, right? Yes, yes. Um, I'm on, on this car, I have probably months on that. Really? Fabricating, make stuff, like fitting there, you know, like make sure everything's like works you know and it just like put a lift in there that actually the for to start with it don't like have a lift made for this car so we have to fabricate one like make something like you're bending metal you're literally getting under that thing and adding after you keep doing a little trial and error right yes 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 i, I see some cool kc lights and a and a, a custom uh, roof rack yes that that roof rack like was one of a kind nobody has that that's only here like we design fabricate install in there if we install that we have to take the whole interior of the car apart like everything like like side panels um headliner like everything has to be out oh man you probably give the uh techs in italy some fits trying to do something <laughs> like this <laughs> yeah they ain't used crazy. to it that was crazy but like it's it's that it's nice and stuff and it's my favorite part of the fenders i love the wide body look something that we've been doing a lot of our trucks and obviously it's a popular trend how do you keep the functionality of the sensors on the car with the wide body fender well like everything on this car it's work like a stock car all the sensors everything was moved according with the lift with the white body and everything you can see the sensors is on the same exactly position as the oem sensor comes on this car that makes a lot of sense because it's such a technologically advanced truck you don't want to lose yeah. any of that aptitude that you gain right so you have the, the, the drivability you have everything you have on a stock car but five inch taller massive wheels roof rack everything like white side white fenders like everything everything works as it should be when the car come here before that's a lot of figuring out but this looks <laughs> badass some customer yeah, is going to get a great urus it is it is it's, it's a nice car oh we got felix the head of qc for all of our six by six what's up felix coming this is a really cool hellfire in behind you right here it is very nice so it looks like the customer went with custom rims yeah chrome rims chrome badge in the front and these are american force or t oh they're tis yeah, yeah, so it's a custom rim, it's forged it looks like, and we got a thermal camera up top. It's huh? gonna have on the camera, it's gonna have a bunch of things. You see, PA system, siren, rock lights everywhere. Oh, that's a decked out car. Yeah, it is. And look at that, Felix has his master sheet. That's how he checks off all the functionality of the parts we add to make sure the tech did their job, but also the thing works properly. My favorite feature on this, Felix, I think you know my favorite feature. Do you know? The rims. The rims. What's an extension of the rim? The chrome, the chrome emblem. Let's take a look at this chrome emblem over here. First of its kind. Wow. How about that, huh? That is so cool. What do you think, Felix? you like it? Now, that's a customer with a vision. Put something together that's really cool. Oh, Felix is going to show us the treasure chest. Wow, 6.4 liter V8 Hemi Scat Pack motor that we install. A lot of hours on this job, huh, Felix? And the best part is Felix gets to actually drive and test this thing. I guess we take him home. <laughs> is that your best? Like, is that your favorite part? Is taking these on the road and seeing how they handle? Yes, everybody will be recording you. It's crazy. You're like a celebrity. You're rolling celebrity. Yep. And this car has a PA system, right? So this one, you can talk to the public that's taking photos of you. So Talk to the public. You can go through night in the mountains, everything. Good job, Felix. Keep up the good work, buddy. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Oh, look at this. Whoa. That looks heavy. Supercharger for Hellcat. Oh, my God. That is a... Cylinder heads. We're going to build this motor out. And we've got a, a truck ready to install it in when I'm done. That is a pretty looking cat. You're going to make it purr, huh? About 750 horsepower worth. Yeah. And this one's going in what, uh, a 6x6? Six six? Uh, this one's actually going in a Jeep Gladiator. Really? 
Yep. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Getting a Jeep Gladiator, which comes with a V6, 3.6 liter stock engine. Yeah. Not impressive. And I think this guy even picked uh, orange to go with, you know, the Hellcat stuff, the orange valve covers and whatnot. So That's very sexy. And in fact, we have another customer who picked out a Hemi Hellcat in orange. And I'm going to show it to you. But first, we got to say happy birthday to Kevin. <laughs> Kevin turned 40 today and is working on his birthday. These are the employees, guys. Hey, I've got a good crew to work with on my birthday. Yeah. So at home, make sure you have a piece of cake for Kevin, okay? Let's go take a look at that other one. Woo! So Kevin was talking about it. Here it is. Look at this freaking amazing Gladiator with a Hellcat engine here. This is how it looks when it's almost done. It takes from that to this. Very, very cool. And this one's orange, too. Look. Must be a popular color. Off-road orange. Great color. Whoa, 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 Nick, what you doing over here? What's Nick doing? Uh, I'm doing a dual exhaust on this Gladiator right here. So the Gladiator doesn't come with dual exhaust. We add it? Yeah, we add it. We cut off the muffler, keep the resonator, and dual it up. Just dual exhaust is more impressive and helps really with the functionality? Yeah, yeah. And it's a lot louder. It's a lot, meaning, you know, it's a lot more mean. It's aggressive. Right. Yeah. And you got to be aggressive to be here. No, just joking, Nick. I'm not going to hurt you on this one. Sorry, bro. <laughs> cool. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Really cool project over here. You know we build seven-seater Wranglers. And to do that, we actually have to chop it in half and extend the entire frame before we add our high-rise top to allow seven full-size adults. Well, after the thing gets shot in its off-road armor, we then put the entire thing back together and add those two extra seats. Take a look. This is a really cool customer one with a 392 Hemi engine. And these are all the parts. These techs got to sit here and go through every single part to reassemble. It is a long, tedious process. And what a color, too. This customer picked a really cool shade. It's like an off-white, um, like almost a cream. So very different, very unique. I really like it, actually. Whoa, what do we got here? We got a 6x6 six six that's about to be shot Kevlar black perhaps you have an extended frame with our patented middle axle the back axle dropped to the back and you got our armored coating throughout the entire undercarriage of this car we do that so it does not rust that's the idea people drive these cars up north you know how they salt the roads and it's going everywhere rust out your whole undercarriage not on an apocalypse six by six that's why we add that off-road armor all right Second booth, getting up and running. This is our high gloss paint shop. But we have some unsung heroes right here. What are we doing today? Uh, that's the slant back. So we're pretty much sanding it down, getting uh, all the little pinholes out of it so we can put some gloss on it. Pretty absolutely incredible. And you spend countless hours over here making sure that this is 100% perfect before it goes into high gloss, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it takes... Quite a, quite a long time. Uh, it's like a three-step process before it gets to gloss. And people notice the differences because fiberglass is really unforgiving. Oh yeah. So if you don't sand it down properly. Oh yeah. That first sanding, if it does, if it's not right, it'll all peel back. And the good thing about fiberglass is it never rusts and it's very lightweight, so our cars are a lot quicker. And this is sort of our signature item too: the right. slant back on a Hellfire. Yeah, yeah. It looks really cool when it's done, but believe me there's a lot of hours that go into it man most people are uh taking off on a friday not here not, not here, here. Not here. <laughs> over here in fiberglass right how many of these products do you guys do in a day hoods fenders slant backs oh there's a bunch of them you can see right there we got we got hard tops we've got the slant bags we've got the bronco hoods we have the mojave hoods we have the predator hoods we have the six by six long fenders we have the viacals just in here alone, we've got grills that we paint gloss. Now, will all these get painted today? Uh, a majority of them will, yeah. Wow, that is a lot of work. But, but that's because they're, they're already in their third stage. So there's three stages before it hits high gloss. Yeah, we have to sand it when they come out from the mold. After we're done sanding that, we have to prime it with a thick primer. And then after we're finished with that, we have to sand it again and use... Uh, we have it right here. We have a uh, guide coat. We have to spray over it so that we can actually see wow. what we're doing. After that, it gets primed one more time or sealed, and then it's ready for paint. 
And these all are going high gloss, not like our off-road armor, so it requires a lot of care for oh, sure. There's Bondo involved too. We gotta touch up all the little pinholes and but yeah, it's a, it's a long process. It's a lot of work. Most of this is almost finished, so. It feels like your lungs are doing a lot of work here, too. Oh, yeah. We're protecting oh, yeah. here. We're protecting, protecting here. here. You're going to need that. I should have had one, I think. <laughs> so definitely not an ordinary Friday here at Apocalypse Manufacturing. If you love what we do and you want to watch more of it, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and follow us throughout all of our social media, like YouTube, like Instagram, like TikTok. So keep watching and we'll keep delivering.